at the beginning of the year I said, you know, 2017 will be my year. The biggest victory of my life uh, I had like, you know, some days ago. But of course I won that belt and uh, it's gonna be another great victory in my life and the life of my family. I'm ready to make sure that 2017 will be my year. And JDS is a great guy, great fighter, you know, great, great former champion. Uh, difference is I'm the champion and it's gonna stay that way. I've sacrificed way too much for him to take that away from me. No one will ever take this away from me. It's not just about me, it's about my wife, my family, my friends, my coaches. They put so much time and effort into me, I'm, I won't ever let them down and I'm not gonna let them down. There's no other title in combat sports that carries more prestige, more significance, and more notoriety than the UFC heavyweight champion. Why we are fighting for the, t the title? We are fighting to see who's the baddest man in the planet, and that guy is gonna be me. When Stipe Miocic defends his title against Junior Dos Santos, he will be defending his title against the last man to beat him in the octagon. Our first fight was one of the best striking matches between heavyweights. Big swing. Huge hammer. Good right hand by Miocic. I think we just didn't care. We went out there, we just banged. When I was fighting him, I said, my gosh, this guy's tough and he hits very hard. Stipe's turning it on. Caught him. Junior's hurt. It was a crazy barnyard brawl. Oh, oh good left left. He hurt him. Caught he caught hurt him. Left. It was a fight that really tested the will of two of the very best heavyweights on the planet. Oh, man. We're trying to knock each other's head off, and you know, me and him went toe-to-toe -to -toe for 25 minutes. Oh, big left hook by Junior. Another right hand by Stipe. This crowd's going nuts. They go the distance. What a war. Junior Dos Santos came out with just the very slightest edge and won that five-round decision. Junior! This rematch is going to show us where each fighter has made adjustments and who has improved more. Because he's gotten better, but I've gotten way better. I'm a different fighter since last time we fought, and he knows that. He came back very strong, and man, he did what he's doing now. When you look at the champion, Stipe Miocic's skill set, it's his boxing and his wrestling, his takedown defense, his cardio and his volume, and his heart and will. He beat Verdun. Oh, that's it! Hit it! Then he beat Alistair over in. Eight shots! Out. He's out! He's out. It's all over! He improved a lot on his fights. But the thing is, he was fighting other people. Now, he's fighting Junior Dos Santos. You're talking about a guy who knocked out Cain Velasquez in one round to take the title. He's out. trying to finish this fight! It he's is out. all over! Junior Dos Santos! Oh. You're talking about a guy who knocked out Mark Hunt with a wheel kick. Junior Dos Santos! I'm the fastest heavyweight in the world right now. I also have knockout power. These hands here are heavy. <laughs> oh my God. The heavyweight division is an incredibly difficult division to predict the outcome of fights in because any fighter in the division can end any fight with one shot. Between these two men, combined 60% of their fights end in knockouts. This is a fight where it is entirely possible we may not see the final belt. It's gonna be a great a striking match and I'm gonna finish him before the end of the second round. Dos Santos looking for the finish. He's out. It is over. He's out. Take the all you want because when you step out the iron, you're gonna be out of luck. Big right hand from Steve Miocic. This fight is over. Both men desperately want to be the UFC heavyweight champion of the world. He will be giving his best to defend uh, his belt. What? And I'm gonna be giving my best to take that belt from him. Definitely gonna be different than the last fight because I'm coming out on top. We have a game plan, work on that game plan, execute that game plan. My preparation, my strategy, everything's gonna be ready. On May 13th, Junior Dos Santos is going to become the champion of the world again. That's not gonna happen. I gave so much for this. You know, I don't worry about being the best of all time. All I care about is winning. Coming May 13th, we know it's gonna happen. I'm gonna walk out still champ. That's gonna be a war. That is gonna be a war.
Big connection. Just constant punishment by Young Jacek. It's my goal to be an undefeated champion, and I want to retire as undefeated champion. That is enough. Joanna wow. Young Jacek has delivered the Polish power. Joanna Young Jacek is one of the most dominant champions in all of MMA, and one of the most technical strikers in the sport today. She's a multiple-time world Muay Thai champion who has used that devastating skill set inside the octagon with spectacular results. Oh, beautiful front kick to the face. The turtle got hurt by that. People sometimes don't understand why I'm so confident, but they all can come and see how hard I train every day. That's how champions train. She is ferocious, she is determined, and she loves being the champion. I'm humble every day. I challenge myself every day. Nobody gonna take this belt from me. I think Joanna is in a position to be known down as the best female fighter of all time. The way she fights, the energy she brings to a fight. She's in control of the fight. Man. Vicious combo there. I'm on beast mode on. I know myself and I know my limits and I'm trying to break the limits. I'm just trying to be better, better athlete, but better person, I believe. This part is oh, tough, God. but she's got rocked. Total domination by Young Jacek. I left my family in Poland, my fiance, my friends. This is what makes me. I'm stronger because of that, and I know they support me. I have just strong goals and strong dreams, but I don't stop. I work hard to make my dreams come true. And again, and again, they can stop this fight. It does. Antraj oh, closed the wow. distance, some good shots. She has knockout ability in both hands. Jessica Antraj wins her UFC strawweight debut. Eu, assim, me considero uma das melhores, porque a melhor ainda é a Joana por ser a dona do cinturão. Mas depois dessa luta do cinturão, eu vou me tornar a melhor do mundo, porque eu vou tirar esse cinturão da Joana e eu vou ser a melhor. Another excellent combination by Andrade. She's chasing her down. Jessica Andrade is incredibly physically powerful. She has a devastating submission game. She's a very good striker. And she has a bulldog style. Wow, Andrade pouring it on. Man, nothing is stopping Andrade. Andrade just fearless, man. Quando você entra sem medo e confiante no que você sabe fazer, ninguém tira o que é teu. Jessica Andrade by submission. Jessica Andrade, since dropping down to straw weight, has looked like a wrecking machine. Então eu continuei forte, da mesma força do peso galo. Eu levantava as meninas grandes, mas eu fazia um pouco mais de esforço. E quando eu levantei no 5 2 eu falei, não, não pode ser tão leve assim. Dá pra jogar por cima do octógono. Andrade's nickname translates into pile driver. The key factors are, can Jessica Andrade close the distance, get inside the reach advantage of the champion, clinch with her and get her to the ground? And can she survive the barrage of technical striking that she is most likely going to get thrown at her on her way in? Às vezes você vai lutar com uma pessoa muito técnica e aí você coloca uma pessoa que é muito loucona, bate de qualquer jeito, a pessoa que é técnica se perde. Eu já escutei muitas pessoas falarem isso. Então eu junto a loucura, um pouco de técnica, a agressividade e a força de vontade e vou. Jessica Andrade bounces Larissa Pacheco from the ranks to the unbeaten. Jessica is very strong, but I will be ready for everything. What a crazy fight this is turning out to be. I will fly to Dallas as a champion, and I will fly out from Dallas as a champion, and still forever.